In this problem, we will do three normal probability calculations using a calculator. The scores of a reference population on the Weschler Intelligence Scale for Children are normally distributed with mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. We want to know what is the probability that an individual score will be greater than 105. Here we have our normal curve of WISC scores that are normally distributed with mean of 100 and standard deviation of 15. We want to know the probability that a score is greater than 105. The shaded region represents that probability. The area under the curve to the right of 105 is the probability that we're interested in. Writing our probability as a probability statement, we have the probability that the WISC score is greater than 105. Remember, it does not matter whether we calculate the probability that the score is greater than 105 or greater than or equal to 105. The two probabilities will be identical when you are talking about a continuous random variable, and that is because the probability that, a, that an individual score equals 105 in a normal distribution, in a, in a continuous random variable, is zero. So it doesn't matter whether, you're, whether you calculate the probability greater than or greater than or equal to. How do we use the calculator to find this probability? There is a function on the calculator called normal CDF. This function calculates the area under a normal curve. The parameters you must give it are a lower bound and upper bound. That's where you want the area calculated. You need to give the mean and the standard deviation of the particular normal random variable that you're working with. This is equivalent and it returns the probability that a normal mu sigma random variable is less than the upper bound and greater than the lower bound. So for our particular problem, if we enter normal CDF, the lower bound is 105, and we can see that in our graph. Our upper bound is way out here. We need a large number more than three standard deviations away from the mean. So if we pick a thousand, that's more than three standard deviations above the mean, the mean of our random variable is 100 and the standard deviation is 15. That will give us the probability that a normal 115 random variable is greater than 105. So let's do that on the calculator. So on the calculator, go to second vars, down to number two, normal CDF, 105 comma, 1000 comma, a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. And we find that the probability that we are interested in is 0.3694. The probability that a WISC score will be greater than 105 when scores are normally distributed with mean 100, standard deviation 15, will be approximately 37%. In our second problem, we want to know what is the probability that an individual score will be less than 92. Again, the shaded region in our normal curve represents that probability. There is a WISC score of 92. We want to know the probability that the score will be less than 92, which is the area under the curve to the left of 92. Our probability statement is the probability that a WISC score is less than 92. Using the normal CDF command function on the calculator, that should be CDF, our lower bound is way out here. Make sure that it is more than three standard deviations below the mean. So we'll just pick zero. Zero up to 92 with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. This command on the calculator will give us this probability. So let's do that. Again, going to second bars down to number two, normal CDF. 0, comma, up to 92, comma, a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15 gives us a probability of approximately 0.2969. In 
and the probability that a WISC score will be less than 92 is approximately 30 percent. The last probability calculation we want to do is what is the probability that an individual score will be between 92 and 105? Again, the probability is represented by the area under the curve between a WISC score of 92 and 105. Our probability statement is the probability that the WISC score is between 92 and 105. On the calculator, we want to use the command normal CDF. The lower bound for our region is 92. Our upper bound is 105. Our mean is 100 and our standard deviation is 15. Go to second VARs in the calculator down to number 2. Our lower bound is 92. Our upper bound is 105. A mean of 100. Oops, let's go back to 100 and a standard deviation of 15 gives us a probability of about 33%. So the probability that our WISC score will be between 92 and 105 when scores are normally distributed with mean of 100 and standard deviation 15 is approximately 33%. And our three probability calculations using the calculation are complete.